ancient tree is special. But when ancient trees are clustered together, they become of even greater importance to wildlife. Epping Forest is internationally important due to its very large number of ancient trees, mainly oak, beech and hornbeam, and the rare insects, plants, bats and fungi associated with them. Veteran trees come in all shapes and sizes. Many of the ancient trees here are pollards, a result of the tradition of lopping branches for firewood and timber from above head height. This would allow new growth to sprout from the trunk above the reach of grazing animals, especially the forest deer. Many of these lapsed pollards are hundreds of years old and they support a wealth of rare insects and fungi. Other giant trees here are a result of bundle planting. A cross section of this great trunk would show that it's actually a whole series of smaller trunks that have fused together. Some ancient trees may have water-filled hollows. Others may have plants growing on them or other plants using the trees for support. Many have hollow sections inside, with mammals, birds and insects living inside the branches and trunks. Even as wood decays on the woodland floor, it provides a rich source of food and shelter for a multitude of insects, small mammals and fungi. And larger mammals often site their burrows nearby for shelter. Even after a great tree has fallen, it can still provide a source of life. The trunk appears dead, and yet there's great regeneration. The veteran trees here are so important that more than two-thirds of the forest has been awarded designations for their protection. It is both a special area of conservation and an SSSI, a site of special scientific interest. <laughs>